Thank you and welcome to Imperfectly Perfect. Don't say it towards me. Why not? Because you're breath. Really? There you go. What up guys? Your girl talk about it. It's Kina. Iconic. And we are Imperfectly Perfect. So today we're doing couples questions. I think it's part, we ain't, I don't know what part, one of them parts. So I'm literally just going to pull the, the cards. Whoa. Holy sun. Don't mind us. We're just in a dry, dry, yeah, the yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Drive <laughs> through. Um, soon we'll be make. Okay. I'm just, as you can see, the cards are in the box. So I'm pulling, I, I'm pulling up the first card. And, uh. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah! Go ahead, read it. So, the sun, the sun, the sun. Okay, hopefully. Between. It's just temporarily. It's just temporarily. Now you can't see my face. Huh? Right. Nah, we're going to go sunny. Now I'm too short. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. I'm too mm-hmm. short. Whatever. Um, when it comes to sex, what all women want is. All women want is a nut. They want their walls to fall. So when they wear white bras, they see the brown line. Can we not? I don't know what women want. That that's definitely for you. <laughs> Do I know We want you? affection when it comes to sex. We want affection. We want to make love. I don't know. I know that there's females that are like, yeah, give it to me rough, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I truly feel, number one, we want to be able to finish. Can't do that with me. Hello <laughs> oh, there. Hey, how you doing? Better get yours before I get mine. That's all I got to say. Selfish. He know I call him selfish. He is mm-hmm. selfish. Um... But no, we definitely want to finish. And uh, we want, I, I, I'm, I'm going to speak for myself. I need affection. Like, don't make me feel like I'm just a thing to do. Do not make me feel like I'm a thing to do. We're going to have a whole problem. Anything else? Hey, I don't know, man. Here we are. And I got one of your snows right here. Alright. Um. Yep. She paid for it. And what? What do we do? We take turns. For the most part. Yeah, we take turns. Sometimes. Here we are. Yeah. That one mine? Uh. What the heck is I that? So. What? What you got? The oh, soul. the cherry line. Yeah. Yeah, we take turns. Oh, this is Bahama Bucks. Sponsor us. Every <laughs> point. Bahama Bucks. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? It Sponsor us. us. Um, um, yeah, sometimes she pays it with... Oh, that and is... And then sometimes I take her card and pay it. Oh, that is sour. That is sour. That sounds so familiar, like you've told me that. Here we are. Thank you. No problem. You have a great rest of your day. You too. Um. So good. The red stuff is a uh, card. Is a sour, and then they put it throughout. I got cherry lime. It is all of that. It is all of I that. I got a cheesecake, Jamaican punch, tutti frutti, and uh, so back to the questions. Yes. What women want when it comes to sex? Uh, literally, I don't. I don't know. Tell me what y'all want. Like I just did. Well, not you, but. <laughs> Like I figure, 
Y'all just want good back shots. Y'all want y'all organs moved around, rearranged. That's it. That's what I think. Okay, next question. Before it gets x-rated. Because we know you have a problem keeping it PG. Whoa, okay. I didn't know where they were going. Whoa, okay. What? Yeah. It's now mind you, these got mixed up, so don't blame me for this next question. Uh-huh. It says when it comes to sex, all a man wants is I know and I'm gonna try and keep it as PG as possible. And this, Go for it. Tell this, me what this this is because I've been dealing with him for so long. He wants a good mouthpiece. That's it. I was thinking about too. I was like, shoot, bad. That's it. And a nice working hand. My saying, well, I'm going to say it's my saying, but I got it from somebody. I think I got it from a comedian. I don't know what comedian. But it said, he said, um, where's the, the microphone? I only it got says, two hands. I got to. No, you good. I just wanted to know where it was at. It says, uh, good pee. Will get you an apartment, but a good mouthpiece will get you a home. Mm. You heard training day. Well, what was what did you say on training day? You want to catch the bad guys or you want to go home? Mm. Gotta wanna go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And and you know some some memes or whatever on Facebook would be like, is oral sex is it is it mandatory in in a relationship? It's not, but it's nice to have it. It is, but then, okay, so then I will say you need to communicate that because I'm someone that I don't need any of that on a regular at all, where you're someone who needs it all day, every day. It keeps me looking fit. Next one. Yeah. Because us eating might have to chop and screw this. Is there ever a time when it's okay to cheat? I'm going to say no. No. Where? When would it be okay to cheat? I want to know what y'all think. Is there? Is there like comment a green... Below. Yeah, comment below. Is there a green light for a situation where it's okay to cheat? Like, okay, this just happened. It's okay to cheat. I think if we're looking, I think there is, there's an answer for that. I think that the common answer is going to be when you agree to have a threesome. That's considered cheating, but you both agree to it. How do you figure that's cheating? Okay, maybe I'm saying it wrong. I was looking for a green light to cheat. That's the only thing I can think of. You're bringing a third person into your relationship where you're doing it together versus behind their back it's still cheating right no cheating is hiding well I'm asking because I don't want them out there to have it any you know have it misconstrued like you know that's my explanation but maybe it's not right because you're both agreeing to it so that excludes it from being cheating cheating is hiding lying being sneaky doing it behind the person's back so yeah baby we're going by a car car not car a car can't even talk mm. we just passed the cow farm a lot <laughs> Now, I don't even think that's considered a cow farm. It's a milking 
whatever. There's like millions of cows over there and they smell horrible. And you know if they smell, the ones up there gonna smell. Yeah. Next car. Next car. Okay, so what do you think? Do you not have... No, I agree with you about there's never a right time to cheat. Right. Like, if you gotta cheat, and I do mean... I do mean, like how you said, if, if you gotta hide, hide it, then yeah, that's cheating. If you gotta hide it, that's cheating. Mm-hmm. So, give us your thoughts on that one. When we, I, I legit want to know. So I'm gonna put it on our Instagram today. When is it okay to cheat? So follow have, us on Instagram. Yes, you will get it there first. Y'all you see get it, it above it. here. Those are our links. Y'all will get it there before y'all see it here. Yes. Next question, third question. If there were no negative consequences, would you want more than one lover? If there was no negative consequences. Uh, no. It's like I already shook my head, yeah. <laughs> if there was no consequences, I mean, what? And that's only, and, and let me explain. That's only because sometimes I'm in the mood and she's not. So that would be your reason for wanting? If there was no consequences, yes. But because there is, and I love you with all my due diligence, heart, soul, mind, you know, I'm okay with us, I'm good with us, but to answer the question, and I'm going to be just truthful to answer the question, yeah, who, who wouldn't, who wouldn't, if you had, there you go, go ahead, answer the question, I was about to ask you, but go ahead, ask. for me, if there was no negative consequences, I honestly don't know. Like, if you gave me the green light to say you can open, openly go and deal with another person, I, I just don't know. I'm being honest. I don't know. Only because, what am I getting myself into dealing with someone else? True, true. I didn't think about that because somebody's mindset. I know us, I know what we're, I know our routine, our atmosphere, bringing someone else in, what, what are we, what is it? True. Or to be like, okay, yeah, I'm married, but I deal with this person, I'm gonna deal with you. You're right, so I, I mean, I jumped the gun, but like, that, that's my first initial true reaction, but then when you sit down and you think about it, like, yeah, but then like, what, what you bringing home? What you bring at home? Are you bringing home a bad spirit? Are you bringing home a dis-ease? What you bringing? So yeah, I I I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> All right, that was the third question. Fourth question. The best way to impress me. You want to go first? What's the best way to impress you? Um, that, that's all it's saying. Yep. Uh, I guess look nice, smell nice. So if you were single, well, I, I I mean you've impress, impressed me quite a bit when it came to doing things that maybe a guy would do or like like when you had fixed the speedometer, I was hella impressed like that. It turned you on. That's different. What turned me on is is spontaneous ropes and fields. 
taking away their tequila. You know what impresses me? Like, all, like, legit impresses me? Is a truthful person. When you can be honest from the jump, and they're, like, there's nothing to be hidden. If you came to me and said, you know what? I live with my wife. We're in the middle of a divorce. We're not together. Because he, he, he had a roommate when I met him. Yeah, wasn't nothing going on in the sheets in that house other than turmoil and But he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He wasn't honest. Now if I did, would you have got down and dirty with me? Well, I don't know about all that, but at the end of the day, it wouldn't have changed how I feel because how we met I wasn't looking for a relationship or anything. I was legit looking for someone, for someone to talk to. So it wouldn't have changed how I felt. We still would have been friends as we were moving forward. Okay, so if y'all don't know, it might be in another video that's already posted. I don't know, but I don't how so. we met, we met on the chat line. Live links. Sponsors. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we met in a talk line, a chat line, whatever it's called. In 2004. That was my first time getting on. It was my last time getting on. So whatever that <laughs> says for him, he either ruined it or made it so that I didn't want to go back on there. I don't know. But we talked for a long time. We, we talked, like, we had a good connection from the beginning, but we... I ne it wasn't my intention. I don't. I don't know what his intentions were for getting on there. Mine were literally to have someone to talk to. Mine were too because I was in a. I was in a bad place with a bad person. I mean, well, you know what? We're not even. This we'll is supposed we'll, to be the game yeah, part. Yeah, That's we'll go into that in another video. So for me, I truly adore and impressed by honesty. Um, outside of that, it would be just being polite. Like, oh, let me get this door for you. Let me do, like, I don't know. I just, make me feel like a woman. Make me feel like a queen. Like, open doors. Like, those things impress me. But it's not like just... I'm with him and some man opens the door. Let me get that door for you. Like, I'm like, oh my God, no. It's not like that. But if it's something where you're in a first date or you're in a relationship, make me feel like a woman. Make me feel valued. That, that's the stuff that impresses me. Next question. If my partner would go for it, I would like to make love. partner would go for it I would like to make love and then it has three dots so I'm assuming like in a certain place or um there's something so if he was all for it I might answer the question if he was for it I want to make love on the on the ocean the beach on the ocean Why? But 
because I'm thinking in public. Where? Say it. Like, hell. Like, uh. I don't know. Like, a plane, a uh, uh, movie theater. Now, first of uh, all, planes are. It ain't even about body shaming on the plane. There, there, there ain't no space. There's n Someone show me a big enough bathroom on a plane for even a skinny person. I'm just saying, no. Oh, I wasn't even talking about the bathroom right there on the, in the seat. Wow. Um, I don't know. Like it was, it was getting, it was getting there almost. Well, I definitely would want it to go a little bit longer in the um, in the Ferris wheel in, in Las Vegas. We'll talk about that some other time. But yeah, all right. Next question, then. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Las Vegas, sponsor us. <laughs> they gonna ban us. Yeah. Three words every woman wants whispered in her ear. Read that again. Three words every woman wants whispered in her ear. Three words. Your bills. Oh, I know three words. Here's some money. <laughs> it's three words. Every woman is going to accept those three words. Right? I got three words for you. I'm your period breaker. That's more than three words. Yep. See, public school, I'm telling you. Public school got me jacked up. Okay, so this is the last one. Let's see what it is. This person don't know how to drive. Oh, we need to shuffle these a little more. Um, Three words every man wants his woman to say. You can take that one. Three words every man wants his woman to say. Oh, I know one. I'm. You want me to say it? Pull it out. <laughs> no. Um. I think it will be. I got you. Like, I got your back, I got you, we in this together. I got you. I support you. A Taurus would say that. Absolutely, you darn skippy. That's what Tauruses do. Taurus gang, gang gang. Let me think of another three words. Are you afraid of hearing yourself? No, are you afraid of hearing yourself?